going to go through three common scriptures that are twisted by Trinitarian heretics that prove their pagan three God Trinity. Now, if you're a Trinitarian watching this, please try to make it the whole way through without writing your nasty comment calling me a oneness modalist heretic. Okay? Make it the whole way through and actually look at the scriptures and arguments I use. Don't answer the matter before you hear it, which is typically what Trinitarian heretics do. They always answer the matter before they hear it, which is a violation of Proverbs 18:13. But here are three common scriptures they'll twist to prove their pagan trinity, and I'm going to show you how they actually prove the biblical godhead and destroy this pagan three-god trinity, which comes from Roman Catholicism. It's pagan. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Here's one you hear a lot. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle of all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. You know, so you see, it says, our image, our likeness, let us make man. Therefore, it's three persons. Okay, Trinitarians, let's look at the verse again. Okay, open your Bibles and turn to Genesis 1.26, which I imagine a lot of them weren't even looking at the verse, typical of them. But let's look at the verse again, okay? And God said, let us make man in our image singular. It's one image, not three images, because there are three persons. No, it's one image. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, Deuteronomy 6.4. Not three lords, but our one Lord, you know. Uh, pagan garbage is what it is. Genesis chapter, no Genesis, Matthew chapter nine, uh, 28, verse 19. Because you see, it's image singular. You see the same thing in Matthew 28.19. It's singular. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore into all go sorry go that's right, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. See, three persons. Again, let's look at the verse again. Go ye therefore teach all nations, baptize them in the name singular of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. One name, singular. Not three persons that all have a separate name and all three fully God, divine essence, divine unity, you know, pagan Catholic garbage. And the Trinitarian is completely Roman Catholic. But again, it's a name, one name, singular. The name of, not names of, name. It's one name, one being, one person, not three persons. First John chapter five, verse seven. Here's the most common one you hear from these um, Catholic heretics. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. See, three persons, these three are one. Um, you just added the scripture. If you're a Trinitarian, you just have to add the scripture right there. It does not say these three persons are one. Where does it say these three persons are one? If you're a Trinitarian and you said that, you just added the scripture. It does not say these three persons are one. It just says these three are one. One being composed of body, soul, and spirit. Not three persons that are all fully God, but all have the title of God, but are not one God, you know, but are not one God, but they are one God, you know, not three gods, but they are one God. No. These three are one. That simple. God is one being. That's why every time the word person is used in reference to God, always singular. God is not three persons that all have the title of God, but are not three gods, but one God. No. God is one being. That simple. God is a body, and he has a soul and spirit within him. All make up one being. I am my soul, and I am my spirit. When I say that Jesus Christ is the Father, I'm saying that because he is his soul, and he is his spirit. That simple. So, the Trinity is pagan Catholic garbage. It is not uh, biblical. In fact, the word Trinity is not found anywhere in the Bible. So, don't be deceived by this Trinitarian Catholic nonsense. They have the twist scripture, they have to add to the Word of God to prove their pagan garbage. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.